Well, finished pricking up the um, um, aileron or elevator and rudder in the tail. And now, we're gonna plug both these servos in and they're both working and they're both centered. Okay, so now that I have both of those centered, I just use one of these little um, servo testers. So I'm going to go in here and put the servo horn as much as a 90 degrees as I can to the back. Man, that's nice. Okay, so. I'm not going to tighten these screws in yet. I'll just put them in just to just, just a hair to hold those servo horns on. Now what i got to do is because I'm going to use a Z-Bend in this end, I'm going to have to um, measure off in here. You probably can't see, can you, what I'm talking about? Let's go up there. Is that better? Okay, so, right here, the wire's too long, but I'll have to make the back dead square. You see a problem here, eh? Is these really, I guess that's the best way to do it, it's with the Z-Bend. I won't use all the servo horn. It's like I'm going to use the second hole in. It should be enough. There. So, the tail right now, I think, is already just square. I'll double check it. We'll make sure that the, the tail is square. And I'll come in and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I believe we're just here. There. Okay, now I believe I have my rudder and my elevator perfectly square. Okay, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to mark exactly where I want those bends to happen. Okay, so then what I'm going to have to do pull those out and Z-bend them. Now I'll have to Unattach the end and pull it as far as I can this way to get enough on them. And I'm going to get a Z bend in them and we'll come back and we'll hook them up. There you go. Okay, you see in there? I got the um, Z bends in the wire. This is really secure. I know if I really, really thrash this thing in the air, that those will never come undone. Now, on the tail here, I know. That even though I have these hooked up to the servos, when I'm twisting these on, the servo horns, we don't want to um, put the tension of this twisting on the servo horn and the connection. So I'm going to grip this with pliers. And put this on so that our tail is straight. Bring it right here a little bit more. Oops. 
see we gotta go more. This is where your adjustability, I mean you guys trim on the radio, but you're out a lot. We can use this adjustment. I should know from before that I have to go almost to that wire is sticking out. Oh, it's getting tough. Oh my. Okay. That's really getting hard. Test here. Just a bit. We'll leave it like that. I'm going to do this to the um, elevator. I'm going to show you this one, so I know you're showing you the other one. And I'll be right back. Well, I'm gonna get this back in here. These parts all over the place before I do something. So, that's the pie that they came with. I seem to be happy with him. He's pretty funny looking. We'll glue him back in. And I think I'll um, screw the cockpit on. Because then if I want to change my pilot or say oh yeah there's that stick oh, oh yeah here we'll give it a little help a little kicker <laughs> okay so There's already holes in the cowling, and you know, I'm really surprised. So, I'm not going to use big screws. I've got this bag of real tiny little screws. So, we'll use four of them. Four. And one on the floor. Oh no. Okay. Okay, I'll screw that on. And I'm going to stand in front of the camera, so I'm just going to shut it off. Screw the, just screw the thing on, I'll be right back. Okay. There we go. That doesn't look all bad, does it? Huh? I know the cockpit's off a way different size airplane, but hey, I had no cockpit. And now I have... Really good aerodynamics on it. That'll be just fine. And there's a pilot in there at least. Gotta have a pilot in the airplane. Now let's change our attention up here. Okay, so here we go with this. Now, sure, you're not going to use the four motors or posts that it was planned for. The cow. 
that doesn't fit very good, does it? Oh, okay. Let's see, I just had a problem at the bottom. A really bad warping in this cow. That's a defect for the factory. Oh well, we'll, we'll get by that. We have full many of airplanes without cowls. So, okay. Put that off of there. Now we're going to have to find the center for this motor. And hopefully, it's going to be just the right height. Man. For the hole in the engine here. So, how are we going to do this? We're going to stand the airplane up. I'll be right back. <laughs> 